everybody. Welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manna. In our continuing coverage, we are going to actually finally install this. This is day one with the MiniStack V3 from Newer Technology and Other World Computing Mac sales. And we're going to plug it in. I'm going to test this out in quite a different way because as you see behind me, I have my USB mic. I have an external hard drive that I'm going to try to daisy chain to this. Uh, and free up some USB Firewire ports on the MiniStack V3. Also, maybe even plug in my Logitech QuickCam 9000 and really see how this thing works as a powered USB hub, as well as, like I said, to see if it recognizes this external hard drive that I use with Time Machine and Super Duper. It'd be a nice little test, different test, to test the hub capabilities of this and also see if it recognizes this as a hard drive as that's plugged into it. So let's take a look. We're going to use the flip video camera, which is I'm a big fan of, and uh, really get a close-up look and see how we use that. And also use ScreenFlow to show the desktop and see if the drives are recognized. So let's start. Okay, as you see here, I have the MiniStack 3, but more importantly, there's the FireWire 800. Turn it around. There's FireWire 800, and I'm going to switch it on. And as I switch it on, I'll come and we'll look at the desktop and see if it recognizes the drive. There it is. Very cool. Okay, let's uh, start. As you can see here, I'm just making sure you see it. Okay. But, uh,. Let's try to start plugging things in, see if it works. Okay, here we have my uh, one terabyte Western Digital external hard drive. I was gonna connect USB 2.0 to it, but I'm actually gonna connect the FireWire because for some reason the USB plug is very uh, loose. I always have a problem with these Western Digital drives. That's why I'm really considering the MiniStack V3. So let's just plug it in, put this down here. Obviously, I'll plug it in on the side. So you can see right there. So just plug it in and then I'll grab it and see if it recognizes the drive. Well, powered on, so that's good news. I have a time machine error because I unplugged it. Let's see if it shows up. Looks like it's working. There it goes. Very cool. So that's a good sign right there that it, it powered that on. Okay, let's try to plug more things in. Okay, I've unplugged my keyboard and my mouse. Uh, my mouse is plugged into my Apple keyboard, but we're gonna plug this into the side here and see if it recognizes it. Let's plug that in. Doing that with one hand, and let's jump over here. I opened up text edit. Let's see. Hmm. Open that. Mouse doesn't work. Let's see. Is it, ah! Let's make sure it's plugged all the way in. Let's try it again. Hmm. I have this on an extension cable, so let's check it out. Don't laugh at my underground thing here. Plug that in. Just to the keyboard. Let's give it a try again. That didn't work. So, very strange. 